Have you ever wondered what the arrow means on a fuel filter? I really haven't gone over fuel filters in my videos. They're pretty much straightforward, but I tell you what, I'm gonna do an in-depth video today on fuel filters. There's different styles, there's different kinds. You have paper filters, you have the cotton uh, synthetic fiber filters like the ones that I use. Tecumseh and Kawasaki used this filter as OEM filters for years. And uh, it's hard to find the OEM ones of these, but you can get them from Stens. And there's the part number right there. And there's the Tecumseh number and the original Kawasaki number that they used to have. Now, if you punch in the Kawasaki number now, it's gonna supersede to a different filter, but uh, these are what they used to look like back in the 90s and early 2000s. And I'm so glad that Sten still makes these because these are some pretty good filters. They trap a lot of material, they trap a lot of dirt, and they'll actually stop moisture from coming through. I can't tell you how many times I've seen filters come in my shop installed backwards. Yes, they'll work backwards and they'll just clog up faster because the media that's in here is kind of cone shaped. And if it's flowing the wrong direction, you're not gonna trap as much dirt and debris as if it's turned around the right way. You have all this surface area from the, uh, the filter media to catch dirt and things like that. Now, let me tell you a little story. Uh, a customer came in and he had just, he'd already done everything he could to make his lawnmower run. And uh, I just mentioned that uh, after we got done fixing it, I think it, I can't remember what we had to do to it. It was so long ago. And, uh, but I noticed his fuel filter that he put on was on backwards. So I mentioned it while we were loading it up. I said, sir, your, uh, your fuel filter's on backwards. He said, oh, I'll, I'll take care of it. I'll, I'll, I'll swap it around at home. And I'm like, well, you might wanna just buy a new one because uh, if you put this filter and you swap it around, guess what's gonna happen? You're just gonna uh, flush all that debris and stuff right down into your carburetor. Well, he came back about two days later we had to redo his car because he didn't buy a new filter. He just turned it around and flushed all this crap down into his carburetor. One thing I do like about these is that they have a double barb. When you put that fuel line on there, baby, that thing ain't coming off. Whenever this fuel line is on there, that double barb really grips that fuel line. And that sucker, you, it's on there, buddy. Ah! Ooh. So I wanna show you guys my preferred method. I hate those little green uh, spring clips that they use from the OEM to hold these on. And I don't like using the worm style clamps, the metal hose clamps, because it crushes uh, these filters sometimes and it damages the hose and then you have a leak. What I'm fixing to show you is what I've been using for years. Uh, OMC, which stands for Outboard Marine Corporation, Johnson Evinrude, uh, they, they've been bought out by Bombardier years ago. And uh, this is what they use from the factory. All it is, is a black zip tie, but the main huge difference is the head. You see how it's radiused? That curves around the hose when you tighten it up so it makes a good seal all the way around the hose. So you've got your fuel line on here and you got your zip tie. So what I always do is just go ahead and get the zip tie on and just cinch it up by hand. These need to be torqued to a certain spec. So you've got your fuel line on, you have your clamp on, 
So let's torque this down properly. Now here's the tool that you need. And guys, if you don't have one of these, I'll put a link in the description below and I'll put it in the comments. This is going to torque this zip tie to 60 inch pounds. And then once it reaches that torque, it cuts it off flush and it's just so cool. So let's give it a try. Boom. So what you're looking for is the zip tie whenever you get done torquing it is you want it to just start to squeeze that hose down and it just makes a good solid connection there ain't nothing wrong with that right there that little puppy right there is on there and ain't going nowhere just remember guys that this arrow would it don't they don't always say flow on it but that is the the direction of the way the fuel flows so from the tank you know you'd go to here flow and then from this end of the filter would go to your carburetor or your fuel pump or even sometimes the fuel pump is behind the filter Alrighty, guys. Hey, I hope this content helped you out. And if it did, smash that subscribe button. And while you're there, click the bell to get all my new videos. Y'all have a good rest of your weekend. More Medic One.